All right, folks, Clansman Bushcraft, just out for a wee night hike, uh, walking through the fields in Fife. It's an absolutely beautiful evening at the moment. There's hardly a cloud in the sky. Big full moon up there, or a half moon rather. Just walking through some fields at the moment. Sun's about to go down. I've got just some warm kit in the, in the, in the Bergen. Um, I'm planning on doing about 17k, I think. Um, first night that I've been out doing this in a long time. Um, used to be in the army, but that was a while ago. And uh, I've let my fitness levels drop. So, I'm planning on trying to get myself a bit fitter. Uh, and also, trying to keep the um, keep the skills up, like uh, navigation and that sort of stuff. Um, so I decided to do a bit of uh, night and after night. Um, sun's just about to go down. Um, I've done about three miles. Um, I think I've got about another seven or eight to do. Um, I am planning on going up to this post, turning left, down at the end of the field, turning right, and down to those trees down there. Nope. Those trees down there. And then from there, there's a path that heads up that hill to the top, over the hill, and I'm virtually going north, um, up to the area where I did my, uh, stuck my axe in my hand, and, um, and then turn in from there, in a big loop, and then coming back down. And then I'll end up coming down the other side of the hill, uh, across there. But, that's where I am at the moment. And I'll catch you in a wee bit. Cheers. Hey folks. Just thought I'd update you a wee bit more before I uh, lose the light completely. Um, I'll probably do a wee bit in the dark, but we'll just uh, just plod on just now. Anyway, my ideal weight is probably around about the 13 stone mark. That's what I used to be when I was in the army. Um, obviously, bigger, older, fatter, and lazier. Um, it is, I think, seven years, roughly. Yeah, seven years since I left the army. Um, and two years ago, I stopped smoking. Because I realised I wanted to. I was trying to see out the end, uh, the end of my life with reasonable health. Um, obviously, it's never going to be perfect because I've polluted my lungs for 20 years. But was it 20 years? No, 15 to 16 years. Um, so I just took a bit of a health conscious decision and tried the um, e cigarettes to, to, to give up. And it's actually working brilliantly. Not had a fag in two years. Um, I'm on the e-cigs now. And they're good. They are great. Um, I don't have any cravings for cigarettes. It's just a, the nicotine that you crave. Um, and I feel a hell of a lot better for it, to be honest. Um, I don't have any coughs or uh, bad throats or anything like that. All that shit's gone. I don't cough up any black anymore in the winter. Um, So, the e cigs are a hell of a lot fucking healthier than the uh, than smoking normal normal cigarettes. Um, and it's just now, me got to give myself a kick up the ass to get get out and and lose this extra weight I've got. Um, obviously, I'm about 15 nine now, so I've got about three stone to lose. And I put on the majority of that in the last two years, and it's when I finished smoking. Um, when I left the, the army, one of the reasons I left was I had a bad knee injury. Um, and that's caused by a collapsed arch in my left foot. 
uh, and it causes my knee to twist in when I, when I walk. You can't really see it at the moment. Um, I've got insoles to try and correct it, but it's still, it's still, in fact, hold on, I'll try and show you. Right, so when I walk, you're a normal person, the knee stays out as they, as they fall through, walk through. My ankle doesn't, kind of flops over, my knee turns in. So every time I walk, that's the, the motion I have. And it causes problems in my ankle and in my knee. But I've not had a lot of pain in it for a long time now. Occasionally clicks, which, in fact, it clicks all the time. Um, but there's not a lot of pain there anymore. Uh, I think I've got used to it. Um, once I start doing physics again, seeing uh, how my knee and my ankle hold up, it should, uh, we'll find out whether it's going to start being painful anymore. But hopefully the pain's kind of eased off. And uh, I'll maybe be able to push myself a bit further and longer and harder and stuff. And uh, I've been set a task of maybe completing my mountain later summer course. Um, so I can get some work uh, in the industry. But who wants a fat leader, eh? When uh, trying to take my up mountains and stuff. Who wants a fat leader breathing out the ass? I wouldn't. So if that's the route I'm gonna take, which I think it probably is, then I'm gonna need to start getting myself fitter. Taking a bit more care of myself. So, right, this, is, this is that turn that I was on the way up, going up past the woods. Nice wee river here. It's just farmers fields, it's run off most of it, but it does come from the top, and it's, it is actually a river, but there is all the, all the farmers run off, comes up this way. So it's heavy rain. Gets really dirty. I would never, never drink that without filtering it or boiling it at least. Right, measure that on the map. That's four miles I've done so far, and it's, I'm not actually coping too bad with it. It's, uh, it's been quite nice so far. I'm not pushing myself too hard. Um, I don't want to. Uh, what's the point in trying to come out and kill myself the first time I come out? Um, just this time, get the legs moving, get the heart going to see how I go. So, it's going to be one of these videos, unfortunately. I'm not going to be standing still much. Um, and unfortunately, I've got arms like a like a T-Rex, so. Oh, it zoomed in. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I was going to say, I've got arms like a T-Rex, so you can't have this in my waist. <laughs> I'll just show you this. You know, it was a 100th year of the uh, remembrance this year for the World War I. Oh, I think the people of Fife took the... Uh, the play of spreading poppy seeds, seriously, they're everywhere. And it's great to see. Obviously being ex-military, I love all that sort of stuff. Anyway, I'll leave you just now and I'll get back to you later. Cheers. Bye. All right, folks. Right, that's us past that hill. Not much of a hill, really, but it's hard enough getting up it, and I'm on a flat for a while, but I've got a good view. I've got East Lomond there, and West Lomond over there, and 
lots of nice farmland. But it's all farmland. Fife's actually quite quite flat, really. Um, it's a bit rolling hills. It's undulating. It's not uh, it's not flat as a pancake like counties like uh, Cambridge and uh, Essex and that lot. They're just flat as a pancake. This is it's actually a bit of decent hard work. Got some horses coming to say hello. Gorgeous. Anyway. Oh, why not? Let's go and say hello to him. Hello. Hello. These gorgeous horses. <laughs> <laughs> Try to bite me, little bastard. <laughs> He's now running wild, running mad. <laughs> little fucker tried to bite my arm. <laughs> He's obviously hungry. <laughs> oh. hey. Won't be long, it'll be pitch black. Look at that sunrise. Sunset rather. Oh here he's coming again. Kicking off. <laughs> he's like, this is my territory, you fuck off. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> anyway. Don't want this to be a too long a video, so. I'll pause it just now, I'll get back to you later. Cheers. How do you know you're in Scotland? Highland cows. Right folks, I've got a quick wee navigation tip for you. When you're going somewhere and you get lost, you want to get back to where you're going. If you put The directional travel that you're going in that little box there all you have to do to go back in the route that you've taken is turn it around and put the white hand on the arrow and that points you back in the direction you've taken it's quite a simple little trick so if you get lost and turn around in the forest, that's the way to do it. If you go in one way, I'm heading up this track here, up there, and I decide to turn off for some reason, over there, and I get lost and I come back out on the track and think, oh shit, which way was I going? Put the box, the arrow in the box, and you can head off that way again. Or, if you've gone too far and you think, oh shit, I want to go back and can't remember the route and it's a straight line that will get you in the right direction hopefully like that, that little tip might help you at some point anyway, cheers <laughs> I've just stumbled across this little uh, Duck pond. They've just fucking seen me. <laughs> Listen to all these little bastards. Look at them all, there's thousands of them. <laughs> Never heard such a racket in my life. <laughs> Things you see when you don't have a gun, eh? Right folks, this is a birch tree and he uses birch bark for fire lighting. I'm not going to do any tonight because I'm just walking but stumbled across a great little opportunity to have a, have a little rummage in. All you have to do is just pull these little bits off here, these little flaky bits. 
You're not going to do any damage to the tree by doing it. Not just pulling out little bits like that, the dry bits. You see, you can soon start getting a little pile up. You process that all up once you've got quite a bit of a pile and it'll catch a spark. That's going in the pocket to uh, to keep for another time. On with the walk. Right, folks, I think I found my, myself my, uh, my my new personal area. This is a looks like an ancient Scottish woodland, and I had no idea it was here. Obviously, I've been in and around this area before, but not in this woodland per se, and uh, stumbled across this one and it's absolutely fucking gorgeous. There's loads of birch trees. There's all foliage on the ground, which means it's an ancient woodland. If it was a plantation, there would be no foliage. And there's absolutely loads of deadwood everywhere. The amount of birch trees that I've seen fallen over or snapped into a halfway up is unbelievable. And it actually looks like quite a quite a sizable bit as well. I'm sure I can find a clearing up here somewhere that'll uh, that'll be suitable for for putting up my hammock and having as my little area where I come to all the time. It'll be absolutely fucking fantastic. Oh, nearly went over my ankle. Obviously I'll be away from this path like, but I don't think this is used very often to be honest. It's quite away from anywhere. Anyway. That's it for a wee while. It's going to be dark soon. I've been saying that for ages. <laughs> Might actually get a get home and it'll still be light. <laughs> Doubt it, I've still got about half of this to do. In fact, more than half, the, half of this to do. Anyway, it's getting a bit boggy here, so I'll put the camera down. Sit speed in a bit. Cheers. Look at this. Like I've seen out of Danny Champion of the World. I'm not sure exactly what type of birds they are because I'm not going very close. But there's hundreds of them. They could be most likely baby pheasants. Sorry about the light, it's getting really dark now. No, I can't get a good picture of them. There are hundreds of them. They could be baby pheasants, baby grouse, partridge. I'm not actually sure. Most likely grouse or pheasant. But I can't tell you. I'm not going any further. Cheers. Right, folks. That woodland there. Right in the edge of it is where I've just seen all those birds. There's loads of them. That woodland that I said was a, uh, a gorgeous woodland, and I'd love to use it make it my personal area. Unfortunately, it's a site of special scientific interest. So, I'll be staying away from that. And that junction there with that house up there is where I came on this bit of the road. Sorry about I'm shaking. And I came down that path from over the other side of that hill. So I've done another good few miles. I'm nearly halfway. The intention 
is to go up here, up to the top of this hill. I uh, can't see much from here, but there's another forest at the top of this hill. Um, walk along the, go the road that goes through the middle of that, um, along that way somewhere, and then walk down towards that village over there, from up there. Probably another good, that's probably another good five mile away from where I, well no, not five mile, maybe another three and a half mile from where I'm going. So I'm going that way for about another mile along there, probably about a mile and a half and then back down. So about another three odd miles to there and then I've got to walk home. So I'm thinking good 10 or 12 miles. We'll get there. Hey folks. This is me, starting in the dark now. Look at this. I'm on this road so I'm wearing the head torch. So I can shine at cars that are coming. So, always think about safety if you're going to do a night walk. Um, in my kit I've got a raincoat just in case it starts raining, a woolly hat, a jumper, a mobile phone, here's a car here so I'm going to get off the road, oh, they're turning away, yeah so in my kit I've got a raincoat, woolly hat, and a jumper to keep myself warm, head torch obviously, um, what else? I've got um, a few bald sweets, great for energy there. Just if you need a bit of a, a perk up during your, your walk, I'm probably five and a half, maybe six miles into this now. So I've got another five miles to do, I think. Um, bald sweets are great for sucking on and getting a bit of a bit of sweetness. In your, in your mouth, but also provides you that little extra bit of sugar. It will just give you a little boost. I'm actually feeling great now. Not done this in a long time, um, other than the one I did a few weeks ago for when I met Richard. But that was six miles and then six miles later on. This is a full 10, 11, 12 miles maybe. Um, just make sure you've got the right kit for the job. So, wherever you're going, Scotland is notoriously wet, so you don't want to get caught out and absolutely sodden, piss wrapped, cold as fuck, and then die of hypothermia, do you? So, warm kit, some sweets, head torch for safety, compass, and map. Now, for I know roughly where I am, so the, the, the compass and map are really just for emergencies for me on this trip. Um, even though it is, uh, it's not a route that I've done before, I've been on this road uh, before, because this is where that woodland there, at the back of it, about a mile and a half down there, turn left, the back of that woodland is where I cut my, cut my hand with the axe. But the bit that I've walked up, I've not done most of that before, so it's just a another rough area I'm going if I find this road and know where I am. So it'll not be difficult to get back. But take the safety kit just in case you get lost. That's what I'm intending to do. Right. Let's turn this off and turn it off if this, if this car's coming. But this is Scotland, so it's still blue sky, but the sun has gone down. Yeah. I made dinner earlier, so I need a bit of an air biscuit now, excuse me. Pardon me. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> uh. 
hey, it's nature. Can't help it. <sighs> anyway, you're going to do a night hike. Be safe. Take what you need to get yourself back. Now, I'm not intending on, on stopping walking, so if I was going to stop, I'd have a tarp and hammock and all that sort of shit in my back. But I just wanted to go light and keep moving. Um, and if something did happen, I've got two mobile, two mobile phones there for, for signal. And I knew this road was here and there's several houses on the way. So I'm never more than half a mile from help. I don't think. So I should be all right no matter what happens. Unless I get hit by a car on this road. <laughs> Which would be shit fucking luck, wouldn't it? Anyway, I'll say goodbye just now and I'll catch you later. Cheers, folks. Bye. Right. Look at all these mushrooms on this dead tree. I'm not sure what the tree is. It could be birch, but I'm thinking more like sycamore or something like that. But look at all those mushrooms. Even loads down the bottom as well. Very difficult to see in the dark, but they hey guys. That's me on the return leg now. Uh, I've just finished that forestry, forestry road. I'm uh, back out on the edge of some fields now. Walking along the forest. But this will end in a couple of hundred metres. And then it'll just be fields again. For a wee while at least. But as you can see, it's still light. Um, it's not very light, but it's still blue sky. Um, but everything else is dark. This is Scottish summer. Or uh, I think I'm on the uh, be the fifth of July now. It's eleven o'clock at night, twenty-three hundred. Um, I can still see exactly what I'm doing. Um, obviously, if I was walking through the forest and everything, it's darker and you can't see much. But it's visible. You can you can do this. It doesn't get much darker. Um, obviously, it will go darker. Everything will go pitch black for about an hour and a half to two hours. By two o'clock in the morning, it'll be like this again, where the light will be starting to come in the sky, and uh, it won't be much later than that. Be sort of between three and four when the actual sun comes up, but it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. Um, I was actually driving one night um, and I was driving from the other side of Scotland and it got dark when I, was, I got in the car, sort of like a half an hour after I got in the car and by the time I was an hour and a half down the road it was like this again. The, the light was starting to come, come back through. Um, so, this is what a Scottish summer's like, it's lovely. I really do enjoy it when it's like this. Because um, you can do lots. But the Scottish winters, they're fucking horrible. Half past three in the afternoon, it's dark. That's the only bad thing about Scotland, really, is the winter. It's really, really dark. Pitch black, you can't see fuck all. It's cold, wet, and horrible. And, uh, it's not my favourite time of year. But, as I say, I spent far too long sitting on my ass and doing not a lot. So, this is me saying to myself now, I'm going to get out of hell a lot more. A lot more fitness, a lot more weekends away doing skills and stuff like that. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll lose these three stone that I want to lose. A lot of fucking work to do, a lot of work to do. But as you can tell, a bit of a fat fucker. No bones about it. I am fat. People tell me I'm not, but I'm nearly 16 stone. Um, certainly not happy with that. So 
I want to do these things like the Mountain Leader course and maybe a few other courses that I'm interested in doing, then I certainly need to start getting my act together, get my ass out and start learning some skills and getting self fit. So that is the intention. I probably won't do too many of these videos of me walking, but I'll do some. This one was my my first main one, so I thought I'd uh, thought I'd get this one on camera for you. It's turned out to be a bit of a long one. I'll probably do a bit of editing to try and uh, cut it down a bit. But hey, gives me something to do, to do and talk about while I'm walking. So keeps my mind off the legs hurting. But I'm gonna put the camera away down, and uh, I'll catch you again in a wee bit. Hopefully, when it'll be pitch black and I'll be walking through some fields, so that should be fun, breaking ankles and stuff. <laughs> Just rose at the moment, but we're getting there. Cheers folks, see you later, bye. Hey folks. Just try to show you where I've been. Okay. First I started in Woodside. I walked along that. B road there and crossed onto where it says that shaft disused and walked up that track. Sorry, I'm going to have to put this down a second. Try and get this working. Okay. Side off here. Walked along it. Along there, and there's a new um, bridge system built in to go across to there. And I walked up this path up to the railway station, onto this road up here, onto that path there, under the bridge, up to here, turn left, turn right, up here. There, onto that bit. That is where the horse tried to bite me. Walked up here, up past Broomfield Cottage, up to the Broomfield Farm, and then turn right up here, in through Star Moss, that's where the, the duck pond was. Walked up here, up to this Hilton of Kirkforth Farm. And up onto the road, and then we walked all the way across this road. And that drummy wood is where I cut my hand. That cut. Now, past that junction, up to here, and then down this road. All the way down. And this is where I am at the moment. I've got two choices. I can either walk along this pathway here and down into Star that way we're going to walk along the road and Star that way and from there I've got to get myself back to there so I'll be down here somewhere by the way I came but I'll tell you what some fucking walk I'm doing. I'm thinking it's more than 11 miles by the way. I'm going to have to check that on when I get back. Anyway, that's the route I'm taking. I've got to decide which one I want to take. Whether I want to go that way or the road. I think I might actually just go the road because it's a bit dark. And I don't want to break an ankle. Okay, I'll catch you later. Cheers, bye. Alright everyone. Right, this is Scotland dark. As you can see, to the north it's still light. There's bats. It's, it's not actually very dark. I can still see where I'm going. Don't need the, uh, the head torch. I'll only put the head torch on if someone's coming in a car so they can see me. Um, I've now left Star. I'm back on my way back down to Market somehow. Uh, I'll figure that out when I get get to the next junction, whether I go back through the fields that I came up through, or 
weather, I uh, I go down the roads. I might go just go down the roads because I don't want to trip and break my ankle or something. Um, but I'll make that decision in a wee minute. I'm actually really enjoying myself. I'm surprised. It's, I don't usually like fitness, but I got a bit of determination to finish this, and I want to do it well. Um, I've only stopped a couple of times just to take a wee bit of video, but um, other than that, I've not stopped hardly at all. Um, I'm actually breathing at my ass at the moment because I'm going uphill, but it's not a big hill, it's just a little, little uphill. But I'm unfit and I need to work on my fitness to, to get better. Um, but I am enjoying it. Uh, I will try and do this a hell of a lot more often. Not necessarily at night, but just go out and do a good tab, whether it be four miles or eight, ten, fifteen, whatever. Just getting out for a couple of hours. So those ball tweets have really helped. You don't chew them, you just suck on them. And it slowly disperses the, the sugars into your system. And uh, it helps a lot. It helped me get through my wall when I first started hitting the wall up at the forest. Um, and I've had two since then. And it just keeps going a bit. Giving you the... the uh, that little extra kick. Right. I am now at the junction. It says Mark inch two and a quarter miles. Can you see that? So I'm gonna go to Mark Inch. Not on the cycle route, I'm gonna go on the road. Um, depends actually, if the cycle route is okay, I'll go on the cycle route, because obviously it's half a mile shorter, so I might go that way, but we shall see, it is uh, a hell of a lot later now, uh, let me get the phone out and check, it is 11.50, you can see that, 11.50, um, so that's been an hour, well almost an hour since I spoke to you last, and I haven't stopped moving, um, it's been a fucking good walk actually, I'm loving it, it's just nice to get out, and in the nice weather actually as well, it's beautiful, there's, uh, there's hardly any wind, no rain, really enjoying myself, and look at that actually, the sun's been down for about an hour and 20 minutes, and that's it starting to show itself again on the horizon. You can't see that obviously because it's there you go. But it's starting to show itself on the horizon. And that is north. <laughs> that is a Scottish summer. The sun comes up in the north. <laughs> Not in the west. The west is over there. Completely dark. That's north. Anyway, I'm gonna uh Head back to Mark Inch and I'll probably speak to you on the way there. But that's it for now. This is getting some video by the way. <laughs> Catch you soon. Bye. Hey right, folks, I've got the uh I've got the red flashing light on because I'm walking through these country lanes and there's people flying past me in their cars. Um and uh, some of them are actually coming pretty close to me. So I've had to jump in the uh in the a couple of times. I've, I found these red lights work better at 
attracting the attention of the drivers on the, uh, the solid yellow beam, so maybe it looks like I'm a bike or something. Someone cycling in the night. So they, some of them actually give me a wide berth, other ones cut me right up. But it must be near and uh, near and half past twelve now. Um, it might not be that late, but it's it's going to be mighty close to it. Um, I've walked a couple of miles since uh, since the last time I spoke to you. Here's a car coming here, so it hopefully it gives me some space. Yep. Give me some. Not much, but some. So, yeah. It does seem to seem to work a bit better for them. Um, but I am fucking hanging now. I've been on the go since about 2040. Um, so that is now almost four hours walking. I think I've stopped two or three times to talk to you or show you something. Um, but I've actually not uh, not stopped to have a drink or anything. I'm just using my little uh, what do you call them? My ball sweets. I think I've only got one left. So. But I'm almost in Mark Inch now. I'm just coming up to the edge of Mark Inch. Um, once I'm past Mark Inch, then I'll be on the. Uh, the cycle path back to where I live, so it's not too far. Um, I'm probably talking another two and a half miles from here. Uh, oh, it's been a fucking long one. I'm not slouching either. I'm I'm giving it a good bit of st good bit of leg. As you can see from the walking, I'm not I'm not hanging about, but I've definitely covered more than uh, more than 10 miles anyway by the time I finished. That's four hours now. So anyway, I didn't take the, the cycle route to Mark Inch. I'm on the road, but give it another. 30, 40 minutes, I'll be home. Catch you later. Bye. All right, folks. I am absolutely hanging now. Uh, let's see what the time is. Oh, it's just uh, half past midnight. So, I thought it was a little bit later than it was. Uh, another 10 minutes, I'll have been out four hours. I'm just walking through Mark Inch now. Um, I'm heading down that way. Onto the uh, onto the cycle path that goes from between Mark Inch and Glen Rothes. And once I'm down there, I'm only about a mile from home, so not too far to go now. Maybe a little bit more than a mile. But oh, excuse me. Oh, just had a drink. Um, if it's a bit more than a mile, it's a bit more than a mile. I'm just saying it's a mile because it made me feel better. Won't take too long. <laughs> anyway. I think that's me for the night. Um, I'll probably not do another update now. Because uh, I'm nearly home. Um, and I went, I'm going to get home. I'm going to have to sort my feet out because my feet are a bit sore. No blisters or anything, just sore. But, uh, probably... Some hot spots rather than blisters. I don't really get too many blisters, but I do get hot spots. But I'm okay. I'm still walking at a good pace as well. So um, I'll be home in probably 20 minutes, half hour, and then uh, that's me for the bed. And I will catch you soon. Anyway, just watching. Thanks, fellas. Bye.